Hey guys, Max here, CEO of Blossom. It's been a minute since I've done one of these video walkthroughs, but we have a pretty exciting update for you guys today. So wanted to give a full walkthrough of all of the changes to the app, as well as share some of the exciting new features we have coming up next. So there's two big things I wanna talk about today. The first is the app restructure, which I will call out right now is just live for iOS. Uh, but it's coming for Android uh, for you guys in a couple weeks. And two is the multiple images posting. Uh, so let's get right in. First off, one of the things you'll notice right off the bat when you open up the new app is the profile tab has moved from down here, which is more of like an Instagram style, to the top left, which is a bit more like a LinkedIn or a Twitter. And what that's left uh, room for is this new insights tab, uh, which is I'll share in a second, which is very, very exciting. But first off, the profile tab. So you can see the profile in the top left and that's accessible from the home tab, from the markets tab, from the portfolio tab, the insights tab. It'll be accessible basically from every tab, not quite for learn yet, but coming up soon. And that is essentially an entry point to the profile as it was before. But you'll also see you can access your saved posts really easily. You can access the topics really easily, which for those of you um, who didn't know, because I know this button was fairly hidden before, we actually have this great um, sort of topics hub where you can drill into a uh, post for a specific topic. So let's say you want to see all the posts related to real estate. You can click in there, see the most popular real estate posts of the week, see the chronological um, posts of real estate for the week, and a reminder that you know following topics helps you curate that feed. Um, get help also accessible, settings accessible from there. And if you click into profile, you can see everything like you saw before, your public profile, how people see you in the app. You can see your posts, you can see your trades uh, right in there. So as a result of moving this profile to the top left, this has allowed us room to add this uh, insights tab. So what we've done with the insights tab is we've taken all of those pro widgets that previously were buried underneath the portfolio tab and really given them a home. Uh, so you can see all the dividend widgets here. You got your dividend calendar, you know, dividend overview, uh, your dividend distribution, the different holdings widgets, returns breakdowns, sector breakdowns, all of that good stuff in here. And since this has its own tab, this will give us a lot more room to build this out build in more functionality. One of the visions for this tab is really, in addition to the data visualization, being able to pull out these insights. So, you know, almost like a little tool tip at the top, similar to Brandon's portfolio reviews, of letting you know, hey, your, por your portfolio is maybe overweighted to one sector or overweighted to one geography. So this will really give us uh, a lot of cool um, space um, to work on on improving this um, this functionality. I'll also call out uh, this watch list was one that was buried previously. We've pulled up the watch list. It's accessible uh, basically within two clicks or, or essentially one click from your portfolio. You can open up that watch list very, very easily. And this is another uh, functionality of the app that will be continually improving because I know that watch list uh, is really, really important um, for all of us here. And we used to have a view more button here in the uh, portfolio, but now you can see since we've pulled out those insights, all of it is just easily accessible and visible here, and you can filter it directly from that portfolio tab. You don't have to double click into any other, other tabs. So really, really exciting changes here to the overall structure of the app. Um, and shout out to our incredible designer, Gonzalo, um, for that change, and I think it adds a lot more uh, you know, room to continually improve the app. Let's move to the second big update, which is multiple image posts. So you guys have been requesting this time and time again, and we finally uh, had the capacity to build it out. So now you can select not just one image. You, I can't remember actually the limit, but I think it's at least five that you can select. Actually, let's see how many I can. Yeah, it looks like I can select up to five images and that adds a, a carousel of these images. So you can see I got these three awesome uh, NVIDIA earnings charts, um, but you can get really creative with this. I, I've seen, you know, essentially carousels, which on, on Instagram, for instance, which share key information in a more visual uh, way. 
Uh, so this is a really, really cool addition to the posting and excited to see all of you folks really use this and giving some new life uh, to the feed. And speaking of the feed, uh, one of the behind the scenes things that we're always doing, always improving, is on that feed algorithm. And some of you will have noticed a bit more of this trending content in the feed. We're always experimenting with new pieces. But one of the big changes over the next two to three weeks that we're working on is uh, building more evergreen posts into the feed. So a lot of you are making these great posts. One that comes to mind is Adrian's post from like six, seven months ago, uh, VFV versus VOO. Well, of course, since it's seven months old, you're not gonna see that in the feed, but that post is still relevant today. And there's a lot of posts that you guys have made uh, that are still relevant today. Uh, some are more time sensitive, like ones about NVIDIA earnings, but some are gonna be more you know, evergreen. And so the way that will essentially denote a more evergreen post is a post with more bookmarks. So if a post has more bookmarks, that means it's likely to be a bit more evergreen. And we're gonna experiment with sort of showing some of those older, more evergreen posts in the feed um, so that those posts that are still relevant today have a bit more longevity. So that's a really exciting uh, thing that we're working on. Two other big changes with this release is uh, we fixed a ton of bugs. I think we fixed almost 100 bugs these last three weeks. We've just been heads down, just squashing bugs. So you should notice a smoother app, especially for Android. Android was mostly focused on the bug fixing, which is why they're a little bit you know, behind on the uh, profile app restructure. And we also have some exciting new learn and earn lessons. And these ones are video lessons, so they're more engaging. We have video lessons here from Harvest uh, ETFs now, who've been a great partner to Blossom. We also have some awesome video lessons from Guardian about their Guard Bonds product. So overall, yeah, just really, really exciting updates and changes to the app. Uh, and of course, don't you guys worry, we're still hard at work building out the desktop app and desktop functionality. And over the next sort of two to three months, or basically to the end of the year, That'll be the primary focus alongside continually improving this insights tab and building up more pro widgets and more functionality uh, in there for all of you incredible, you know, we have almost 4,000 of you folks who are supporting us now with pro. So huge thank you. Huge thank you again to all of our amazing shareholders and to everyone in the community. We're almost 160,000 strong. We love you guys and we can't wait to keep improving Blossom and keep making it better and better for you all. Can't wait to see your posts in the app and see your comments about the new changes. Talk to you next time. Cheers.